Hi guys, welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Alex and this is Emma. And today we are in Berlin, but we are getting the Eurorail all the way across to London. Thank God we are leaving Berlin. The only reason is the food. The food is too good. <laughs> it's too good guys. We have gained so much weight in such a short space of time. It's phenomenal. We can't stop going to bakeries. I know and we've even got our haul this morning of pastries and breads to make us nice and bloated for our journey to London. One last bit of German <laughs> sausage for me. <laughs> So we have never traveled Europe by train before, but we have the Interrail Pass and the Interrail Pass can get you access all over Europe by train. So we are going to go to London, but just for three days, because in three days we're going to Poland. Yes. But we have an expo, a travel expo that we need to go to. We have to go. There's a lot of cool people going who we like and we want to go and say hello to. There's a lot of YouTubers there that we're going to go and meet. We're also going to go and try and secure some things for next year, some trips for next year. So come along with us, guys. We are going to be traveling on some of this journey in first class. <laughs> We are on the train, we are in first class, and we are very happy with our seating arrangements. We have a lot of space here, we have power outlets, we have free Wi-Fi, we have a desk so we can do some editing and be productive. I'm so excited. But first guys, it's breakfast time and we just have to show you our last haul for Berlin. Okay, first me, I'm going to reveal to you. That <laughs> should have been much smoother but my baguette. <laughs> Palm of ham guys and some form of cheese. Um, what have I got? I have a coffee, of course. Some kind of ginormous pastry. And, for later, I got myself a cheeky little cheese and tomato sandwich. And Emma's not the only one that gets a delicious dessert. Because, <laughs> don't worry guys, Hal's got you covered here. Look at that. That is chocolate and things. This is the first of our mammoth 13 hour journey from door to door. Uh, this one is four hours to Cologne, so we're gonna go and get some work done, stuff our faces, feel bloated, feel terrible, and then we'll come back to you when we feel a little bit better. We are here in Cologne, which actually is Cologne. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who spells Cologne like that? That's confusing it's for everyone. It's got a K in it. It's Terrible. very confusing. I've always known Cologne for the sea. So how was your first experience of first class on the train? It was glorious. I felt like I was royalty. I had all that space and all the wood and all the comfy leather seats. It was quite lovely. This also has been the most productive travel day that we've <laughs> ever, ever had. We always intend to edit videos while traveling, but it just takes it out of us. Yeah. We do nothing on travel days, nothing. Yeah. So Al's been editing and I have been drawing up some ideas for future merchandise. Uh, so keep your eyes out for that in the future. Keep them looking guys, because <laughs> it could come out at any, any moment. moment. They any might be moment. out now. <laughs> the first class has some amazing food. They even have sausages on the train <laughs> everywhere. I'm really surprised Al didn't get a sausage actually. But there is a sausage place right there. You could get another one. I'll give you a sausage in a minute. Okay, next stop is now to Brussels and we are going first class again to yeah, Brussels. Yeah, because that's how we roll now. That's how we roll. And then from there we are getting the Eurostar back to London. Second so, class. So, second class. <laughs> Can't afford that. It's too expensive. And when we get to London we will be staying with our good friend Adam who you may have remembered from our past videos in Malaysia. He joined us for a little leg of our trip. To Malaysia and the Philippines last year. So come on guys, let's go to Belgium. journey and then we'll be reunited with Adam. Adam, if you're watching this, we've already seen you by now. 
So I don't think that I could travel any other way than first class now because that is, <laughs> I quickly change. I don't remember my routes. But this one was not as nice as the first one. Not gonna lie, it was just nice. The first one was amazing. But still, leg room, check. Reclining chair, check. Wi-Fi, check. Man giving around little chocolates, check. So guys, <laughs> if that is not enough reason to do it, then I don't know what is. Ah. Uh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Such a loser. <laughs> just about to board the Eurostar which means it's time for us to almost be back in London now. I'm pretty knackered but actually I don't feel as tired as I usually do on a day when we're going through airports and stuff. I feel like it's the way of the future. To, <laughs> being able to walk around and stuff and have nice scenery out the windows and have coffee whenever you want and a little wonder just it's nice. All right, guys, it's our okay. first time back in UK in about a year and a half, coming up. We hold our hands up, guys. We forgot to film the end of the video. Guilty as charged. We went to London and now we're in Poland and we are filming this end of the video because we got to the end of editing and thought, hmm, where's the end of it? Ready? Can you take it? Can you take the end of this video? <laughs> so firstly, the Eurostar experience was great. It was super easy, super quick. First time doing it, mind-blowing that you can take the train yeah. from Belgium to London. Yeah, ridiculous. ridiculous. <laughs> oh god, we need to break up now. <laughs> we spent too much time together. Very cool to take the train all the way to London rather than flying. It was super convenient for us because it meant that we were actually able to get some work done on the train. Um, especially that first half of the journey. The Eurostar was a little bit more crowded. It reminded me of the British trains a lot more. Also, there's a lot of lads. A lot of lads there drinking beers. Wait, wait, wait. You know the time. But all of the trains did have good Wi-Fi, they had plugs, and they had areas where we could actually put our laptops, which was super helpful. In Asia, we say our favourite way of travelling is on bike. We love renting bikes for the freedom. Mm -hmm. In Europe, definitely not bikes. No. Trains. Bloody love a train. Bloody love a train. Easy you don't have to, to worry about around. parking. None of that shit when you get to the city centre, which is lovely. Because usually it's based in the city centre. Flying, you're on the outskirts. No one likes being on the outskirts. <laughs> but if you're going to nature in Europe, going by car is definitely the way to go. One thing I've really liked so far about using Interrail is it's actually super easy to use. I thought it was going to be really complicated when I first checked it out with all the online booking systems. But actually, you can just go to the train station and book it at the station. You don't even have to do anything online and then you don't have to pay the booking fee. A lot of flexibility. If you're wondering what happened in London and you want to see a video, guys, don't expect it. It's not coming. It's not happening. We didn't film it. We didn't turn the camera on once. We were so busy. Rushing around, meeting people, making travel plans. There's basically no evidence that we went there. <laughs> no, did we even go there? Is it conspiracy? Firstly, it was really nice to see our friend Adam again. It's been a while since we've seen him when we went to the Philippines. Then we went to a conference, which was all about travel, which was pretty good. But the thing that made it for us was we got to meet a load of other YouTubers that you might know. We got to meet Kinging It, uh, Making It Happen, Pear and Trina. Cup of TJ. And also, last but not least, Endless Adventure. Yes. Who we happen to be doing a trip with very soon. So we're really excited to be meeting up with Eric and Alison in the next couple of weeks to go around Vienna and Slovenia. And also, we don't usually do many collaborations in our time, so it's going to be a little bit weird for us. So for this trip in Europe, we are just staying around Poland. We've been to Berlin and we're going to do uh, Vienna, Slovenia and a little bit of Italy at the end. However, we we're already talking about maybe coming back and doing another trip. That's where you come in. But only if you've been to places in Europe <laughs> or there's places you've researched about and you would like to see, mm -hmm. send them in the comments. Where would you like the beans to go in Europe? Yes, let us know in the comments so we can plan that in for our trip next year. 
of course give us a thumbs up if you like the video don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel press the button and next to it is a notification bell press that as well mm, why not go for it now it's time for us to love you and leave you and i will say beans out